All right. So uh, yesterday it was nearly 60 degrees here in Boston. Uh, I was just outside in Somerville. And today it's snowing. Welcome to New England. Not too long ago, I did a quick review of some of the cool magazines I got for backing a Kickstarter for Gore Noir magazine. And I went through two of them, one with my good friends from Troma, and then the second one that I got. And then here's the third one featuring Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We're going to review this guy right now. But uh, check this magazine out. It's really cool. And print print is not dead. There's lots of people using print right now. Um and usually there's all kinds of uh, eclectic works in here. But even this is the top horror art, music, photography, tattoos, models. So it's got everything you could want, right? And awesome photos. So we're going to flip through this thing and do a quick review on what we see here. And I've gone through some of this stuff before, but um, tattoos by Daniel Krantz. These are some pretty cool ones. Edward Scissorhands, Catwoman, classic Catwoman, and uh, uh, the Penguin from the movie Batman Returns way back in the day. And I think that's probably from The Craft. I think so. And Rob Zombie. Some cool stuff there. And a quick letter from our buddy Mitch Rafter. And I want to give a shout out to him because he's the one that sent me this magazine because I backed his Kickstarter. And I, I think I gave his story about how he um, he had his trailer or his, his truck stolen with all his gear in it. And yet, you know, he still managed to pull through and make this magazine. Uh, so kudos to him for keeping it up. Cannibal Cookbook, Brain Loaf. I got to show you that one. If you've ever wanted to just make a loaf of brains, there you go. Because for the zombie in your life, too bad we didn't have that. Get this up for Valentine's Day. Because if you were dating a zombie, that would be great. Uh, who will survive and what will be left of them for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? We get a couple of cool photos here for our Leatherface fans or just fans of chainsaws in general, uh, of which I happen to be one. I'm not going to show too much of this, but. Uh, yeah, there's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They even show the, a video game. It looks like it's from like the, for like the Nintendo. All right, I'm gonna let you read that one if you want to figure that out. Lots of cool stuff here about um, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Kind of like its evolution. It looks like throughout the entire uh, you know genre of it. Um, ooh, an ad for Danzig, but uh, it looks like that date has passed. Um, so it's some really cool stuff here. Ooh, some nice art with uh, Pinhead Frankenstein. This is some cool stuff. My friend Bernsey does similar things. These are really cool, cool, cool things. This is Don Marquez, so check him out. because He's got lots of interesting things he could be showing you. Vincent Price, Return of the Fly. I don't know if that's Return of the Fly or the Fly. Return of the Fly is a misfit song with Vincent Price, as we all know. We move into the Amityville Horror. Um, I don't know if this is the remake or the new version or what, but uh, I remember the original one. It really scared me as a kid, but um, I don't know. The, the remake, I've been told, is not quite as good. More chainsaws, more leather face, um, and here we have a couple of cool, quick little art. I'm going to show Jason. Er, there's Jason. At least I think that's Jason. It could be someone else in a mask. Oh, there's Victor Crowley, another Kane Hodder special. And... Uh, we're going to thumb through a bit more. Again, you want to check these things out. Okay, so this is cool. Those of you that have... It, it looks like almost like an action figure motel hell. Um, Farmer Vincent with the pig head on. That they were trying to make into like almost like a Star Wars action figure card. That's what it looks like they were doing. I'm not sure if that's what the intention was. But that's pretty cool. Um, more stuff looks like this is this trick or treat in Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Um, I'm going to briefly slap, this is a centerfold, and yeah, I know, I get it. It's not the centerfold you were probably hoping it would be, but still, it's Texas Chainsaw Massacre, so it's really cool. And uh, we've got a guy doing some makeup, and we've got a makeup artist here. And I'll flash up a quick photo. Uh, this guy's doing some pretty cool skull makeup right here. And uh, I've actually done that myself. It's actually really fun to do, not too particularly hard. Makes it really creepy really fast. Uh, what else can you say about that? Daniel DeLeon. Uh, we're going to take a look at what he's doing here. Um, this looks like, is this a music review? Resurrects. Yeah, so we've got music reviews in here as well. So you got to check those guys out. Oh, here we go. 
Dela Rouge and Digital Pulse. Well, I'll give you a quick one of this and uh, not too much because, hey, you want to check out the magazine here. And um, yeah, so if you want to check out the models in here and the ladies, uh, we certainly have a few of them in here. Um, but you got to check out the magazine in order to see all of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> not bad. And here, this is Obscuri, Obscuri.net. Um, some cool photos there. All right. I mean, the photos look okay, I guess. You're going to see the photos okay on the screen, but they look awesome. Like, these are really well done photos, um, really well put together and glossy. So, you know, print media, people say is dead, but there's some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, and here we have Perfectly Twisted Creations. I knew about these guys because I've seen tons of their work. I'll show you a quick little glimpse of, like, the Freddy Krueger themed and Evil Dead themed boxes. I've seen these guys before online. They advertise quite a bit. They're really cool. Um, more tattoos. A trick-or-treat. Oh, yeah, some more trick-or-treat stuff. You got to check these things out. The pictures are really awesome. Halloween tattoos by a guy named Sean Kama. And uh, let's take a look at what we have here. Oh, that's cool. That's... Um, uh, things from, oh, I'm dropping my magazine here. Things from uh, A Nightmare Before Christmas and stuff like that. And uh, here's Daniel Krantz, a nice leather face in Shaun of the Dead. Uh, so we've got some really cool stuff from them. A Predator. He's got uh, Beetlejuice and all sorts of cool stuff here. Um, so those, for those of you that want to check out the tattoo art that's in here. Um, oh, I like this one. I'm going to show this one. That's a really cool pinhead popping out of the box, out of the um, box from Hellraiser. So, and then we've got another musical review. Who is this? Did I miss this one? Did I go by? Oh, Pickled Punk Show. Okay. Something to check out. I'm a big horror punk fan. Probably going to be doing a horror punk themed thing uh, in the future. Bitchy Witch, Brian Mays of Mays Studios. Um, so we got a quick review on that. Uh, looks like a question and answer session. And um, Lost or Forgotten Photography. Check this one out on the back cover. It's pretty cool. Hey, uh, Chainsaws and Chicks. That's what I'm all about. So, Warner Magazine. More than my fair share of chainsaws. Uh, enough to keep me satisfied, at least for the time being. Because um, you know how much I love that stuff. So, uh, yeah. Thanks again to Mitch Rafter. I hope he keeps his magazine going. It's really cool. I got three of these by backing his Kickstarter and uh, I'll hope to that more people are going out and buying the magazines themselves because truthfully, you really do need to like get out and actually read these things once in a while. And again, the pictures are better. We're so busy staring at screens that are burning our eyeballs that we just never get out and actually look at actual photographs anymore. Now's your chance. All right. So that's it for this quick little review and got the, uh, the final third one of these magazines out of the way. And uh, we're going to be uh, back towards doing Wacky Adventures by the weekend. I promise I won't do too many more political rants. Uh, but it was actually well received. I guess a lot of people thought what I had to say yesterday was pretty good. Maybe I'll put a link up to that. And uh, no, I'll probably put the link up to the Gore Noir magazines first. But you can still check out the political rants if that's your thing. All right. Hit the like and subscribe and support us on Patreon if you can. We'll see you soon.